Well, welcome back. Nationwide, the NCAA tournament draws a huge buzz on Selection Sunday. That same kind of excitement can be filled right here in the Wabash Valley with the annual draw of the Pizza Hut Classic. Today, the pairings for the 13th annual tournament were announced. Sports 10's Ross Rawlings shows us the matchups. In a tournament featuring pizza for every meal, someone has to kick things off at 10 a.m. the day after Christmas. This year, that's Owen Valley against Shackamack. And the early start's okay with Shackamack head coach Steve Brett. We don't mind tipping off the tournament. Uh, Gary said he even had bacon eggs instead of pizza early in the morning. After coach Brett follows his breakfast with some basketball, Northview tips off against Monrovia under first-year head coach Clint Weddle. The Knights head man looks forward to a week of basketball that mimics the old one-class system. It's very uh, interesting, I guess you could say, to see uh, how excited people get about the one-class tournament. And uh, we were a part of that when I was in high school. Uh, so for these guys to be a part of something like this, it's very special and uh, very appreciative to see people uh, put the time and effort in and make it happen. Newcomers to the tournament and anticipated to make some noise. The Robinson Maroons draw the host school, Terre Haute South. This game will feature a pair of big-time scorers as Jeffrey Turner tries to help the Braves defend the home court against sharpshooting guard Aaron Seiler and the Maroons. I've always loved the atmosphere, always loved the, uh, you know, all the, all the great coaching that goes on um, at the tournament, and I've always wanted to be a part of it. And, you know, one of those things, just sitting as a fan, you just, you, just, you know, you, you really enjoy watching it. And we saw them this summer. They're really good. They're a tough team. Uh, if they're not the favorite, they're one of the definite favorites for the tournament. they got a really good point guard. Uh, two big guys that can play, so uh, we'll have our hands full. We'll have to play well. Terre Haute North starts their quest for a three-peat against Turkey Run. In a matchup that truly embodies the David versus Goliath mentality of this tournament, the Patriots, with the largest enrollment, take on the Warriors with the smallest. But Coach Wolfley won't ever underestimate an opponent. Well, I've known Coach McVeigh for a long time. I'm sure he'll have his guys ready to play. They always play hard, and it'll be a big challenge opening up the first game. Usually a, a big crowd, and our guys will be ready to go. The bottom half of the bracket starts with a rematch from last year's tournament. West Vigo and Marshall square off. The faces are different, but both coaches will have their teams ready to go. We've played several times. Coach Baylor does a great job. Uh, you know, he's probably trying to find out what, what his team is going to be like this year. He's got a game on Friday. We, we just talked, and uh, you know, we're still trying to figure out you know, what kind of team we have. Uh, but we're, we're pretty excited in Marshall. The team that we ended the tournament with last year is the team we opened with this year. Um, I kind of got my fingers crossed for a little bit different outcome this time. The winner of that one will play the winner of Rockville and Casey Westfield, two teams that boast lots of returning talent and score points in bunches. I know they score a lot of points, and uh, obviously we're going to have to defend and, and we're going to have to figure out a way to score ourselves, but uh, we'll have some time to take a look at them between now and the tournament, and uh, hopefully we'll play well. Got a lot of guys coming back who played a lot of ball. Um, I know we're not going to have the size to, to contain Mahern inside all game, but... Uh, I think we've got a good chance. I know they're going to be good, and right now we just really don't know how good we are, so we'll find out over the next couple weeks. South Vermilion and Riverton Park play the 7 o'clock game on opening night. A tournament run would build confidence for both schools. And we are trying to get respect, and uh, this tournament um, is a way for us to try to prove ourselves. And the first round concludes with Sullivan and Linton. The teams see each other right before the Classic starts, then again to finish off round one of the Pizza Hut. We know them, they know us, and you know, we're looking to get where they've been. So, you know, it's kind of fitting that we're going to have to play them, and they do a great job. They compete very hard, so it should be a good game. The consensus here at Terre Haute South with the draw coming to a close, one of the most balanced fields in years. Six teams with a legitimate chance to win this tournament, three on the top half, three on the bottom half of the bracket. That being said, it's shaping up to be another great Pizza Hut classic when it kicks off the day after Christmas. Reporting from Terre Haute South High School, I'm Ross Rawling, Sports 10.